Today we are eating the entire menu from Chick-fil-A. We're gonna rate it from zero to 10. I got James joining me. You are excited, dude. Definitely gotta start off with a simple chicken sandwich. It smells delicious already. It does smell immaculate. Now, presentation-wise, this thing is pretty poor. Yeah, it's bad. You eat Chick-fil-A a lot? Uh, not anymore. Yeah, we're used to. You want some Chick-fil-A sauce? Oh, Chick-fil-A sauce is great. Let's take some. I will say, I think Chick-fil-A does take the cake for best signature sauce. What about Raisin Cane? Raisin Cane's pretty up there. Chick-fil-A. I don't want to say it. Raisin Cane's kind of sucks. What? Oh, you put it on a sandwich. Oh, you got one pickle. Yo, I cut it perfectly. You did. Chick cheers. for Chick for cheers. I try it without it first. Works pretty good. Outside is not crispy, but this was delivered, so we will take that out of our criteria that for today. Amazing. But yeah, the flavor, the batter, is a great. What would you rate that? We're back. <laughs> I, haven't done a, I haven't done an entire menu video in a minute, but what would you rate that? Mm. All right, what is a 10? Like, is a 10 the best fast food or just the best fried chicken sandwich? What's a 10 to you? You, you set the scale. All right, I feel like if we make the scale like zero is... I'm going to do zero to best fast food fried chicken sandwich. I'm going to say this is a... As a plain one, I'm going to give it an eight. I'm going to agree with you on the eight right there. Even in general, like, I wouldn't mind just ordering a simple chicken sandwich to, if I was hungry. No, that's good. So next we have a deluxe grilled chicken sandwich. So the deluxe, if you don't know, it comes with lettuce, tomatoes, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> I was gonna like say, <laughs> I was gonna name other things. They have this multi-grain wheat bread, which is very interesting. I think you got like all the chicken. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> that's one slice of it. I don't like tomatoes, so I'm taking the tomatoes off. That's good for healthy. I'm going from a fried chicken sandwich to this. Definitely a step down. I feel like it's missing a lot of flavor. Right. You got the sauce in there? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give that like a four. I'm gonna give it a six. Like it's not bad, it's just there's nothing to it. Simple chicken sandwich. There's, just, there's no flavor. Sweet tea or lemonade? Lemonade, please. All right, you are trying the lemonade. I am trying the sweet tea. Christopher Lund is running through. <laughs> uh, what would you rate your lemonade? My, my sweet tea is Oh, I actually tea. really like this lemonade. It's great sweet tea. I'm gonna give this lemonade an 8.2. Out of five. I'll go eight with mine. A little on the sweet side, but no problem with that. Yeah, ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Oh, we gotta get some fries. I honestly think chicken filet fries, and they are new, they are elite. True. Yesterday, Jeff and I went to a restaurant, and we had the best <laughs> french fries I've had in such oh, yeah. a long time. It's hard to go back. It's it's really gonna be hard to judge these fairly. You guys don't know Lazy Dog, Cajun fries. They have this powder on top of it that's like Cajun. It's almost like tahini. Tahini, yeah. Yeah. And it has a lemon, like they squeeze the lemon on it, so yeah. No, but Chick Fil A's waffle fries are a W, especially with the sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm not a dipper, but the Chick Fil A sauce demands it. This is the best fast food uh, fry spot. Dude, I feel like there's no right answer. There's no perfect fry. There's like perfect elements, right? Like Chick Fil A, perfect shape. Mm -hmm. yeah, these are addicting. Yeah. Honestly, Chick Fil A fries. I just wish there was like a little bit of salt. Oh yeah, there's just no, some seasoning. There's no know? seasoning at all. This is a very Christian fry. <laughs> it is a Christian fry. <laughs> I'm gonna give the fries. Sorry, Sorry guys. Fries. I <laughs> oh, you just scared the shit out of me. I will say the best thing we've had is the fried chicken sandwich, which I gave an eight. I'm gonna bump that up to an 8.3 so I can put it ahead of the lemonade. I'm gonna give the fries an 8.2. Nice, nice. Yeah, fries are, right now they're kicking. Right today, sometimes they're off. They're, they're A tier. A tier, for sure. I'm gonna give that a solid nine. All right, next life hack. We got grilled chicken strips. Do you know four? Are you a, a poor? <laughs> Chicken uh, nuggets. So basically, a lot of places have regular fried chicken nuggets. They have uh, grilled chicken nuggets. It's trying to be healthy. Thank goodness James is not on the road to six pack right now. I actually. I will be starting the 18th. You hear that? You heard that? Well, yeah. actually, road to bulking begins the 18th. Right now, I'm on the road to chunking because I'm not. I haven't been working out. On the 18th, I'm gonna start working out heavy again. Road to bulking. Once road to bulking concludes, road back to the road to thinning. Thinning. All right, all right. ripping. All right, chicken. Yeah, I'll be chicken. honest. These could be really good if they had seasoning. It's potential. Which is plain. Can they try to make it healthier? I, I don't mind the grilled stuff. Hey, a little just... salt and pepper didn't hurt anybody. Um, yeah, honestly, those could actually like. I feel like textually, those are pretty good for a chicken breast type thing. Like yeah. those are pretty soft. Like they're like the fries. They're so close. You know what I mean? That little extra salt. That right? little salt, little pepper, little maybe like chili powder, just something. Give those a 7.4. 7 7.4. Yeah. I, I give that a solid. I mean, you're rating higher than I am, surprisingly. I'm gonna give that a 7. Because you gave this chicken sandwich way lower. Yeah, but the thing is, I think Chick-fil-A, what, what is your opinion on this? Chick-fil-A makes it less salty because they really depend on the sauce. Because the sauce adds some like saltiness. They want yeah, you to dip You gotta it. season everything. Yeah. Next, we have a spicy deluxe chicken sandwich. It has a lot of things like lettuce and tomatoes. And that's it. And um, pepper jack cheese, looks like. What's your favorite type of cheese? Oh, dude, that's really... I mean, cheese is very situational, right? I think lately, I've been a really big dude. Life hack, do the knife more vertically when you're cutting a sandwich in half. Next life hack. <laughs> Next life hack. <laughs> lately, I mean, I've been in like a big caprice mood lately. So burrata. Actually, I think burrata is like my favorite cheese these What's days. What's burrata? It's like a softer burrata. mozzarella. Oh. Like if you took mozzarella, it made it even softer. Oh, that does make sense because that, that is used for caprices. Caprice nowadays, Surprise. yeah. Napkins. What's your thought on pepper jack? You like 
Yeah. Pepper Jack's a thumbs up. This sandwich is a thumbs up. You like this one better than the original? Oh no. That's crunchy. Yeah, the crunch is better. I like the Pepper Jack. It's just like Chick fil A is like, it's just always so close to being like just top S tier. It's like an A tier that like it just. What is it missing? It's like the Utah Jazz, right? They're the number one seed, great defense, and then the playoffs come, they just fall apart. Like they just can't seem to break through. And the it finals. makes sense, right? Chick fil A is very Christian. It's fitting that they're the Utah Jazz of fast food. Like they go to the finals, right? But then, then, then there's Jordan. Yeah, Michael Jordan, yeah, takes, Michael over. Jordan takes over. Man, that was a really good analogy. I gotta give myself a pat on the back for that one. <laughs> James, is king, James is the king of biscuits and analogies. Sports analogies. I'm gonna give that an 8.5. I'm gonna give it a good out of 7. I feel like there's too much going on. Alright, we got chicken nuggets. Very natural looking. Other places have chicken nuggets that are shaped like a hash brown. This one looks like it was the chicken. That's a great point. Got any sports analogies? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good. Missing the salt. Missing yeah, the again, a little mm. bit more salt, but like the core flavor is really good. Yeah. When it's crunchy, like this piece is about to be, it's so much better though. When it's not crunchy, it's just missing that element. I'm gonna give this like a 7.5. Dude, does they give us more? Oh, the chicken strips. Right, I guess we gotta try this back to back. Let's go. I'm gonna give the last one an 8. An 8? I like that, yeah. Wow, my opinion is a little bit better. A little bit more crunch. Same. I'm gonna give these a 7.8. We got mac and cheese next. It's amazing. Spoon me. Looks like they add a little crust of cheese on top. They do. But each order, they have to annually add like a little seasoning of cheese. I feel like I'm not a good judge of mac and cheese. You know, I've actually never been big on mac and cheese. Really? Yeah. Man, I love cheese. I love cheese. And pasta. I love pasta. I just feel like it's like I'd rather have like a fettuccine Alfredo. His mac and cheese, in my opinion, is like a kid's meal. Yeah. But it's really good. I, I enjoy it. I don't really like the texture of this pasta. Yeah, me neither. What are you giving that? I'm going to give that a, this is a 4.2. I actually like that. I'll give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 4.20 oh, because that's what you would need to be to finish that. Alright, this one. What the f is this? Chicken uh, lettuce wrap has. Uh, I chose ranch, even though I absolutely hate ranch. As my eyes were clicking the option. You I don't like ranch? I fing hate ranch. I, I would throw what? up. Is that coconut tea? Yeah, damn, that's wild. They're very unpopular. I don't like mangoes. I, I feel like I don't. I'm not <laughs> in love with mangoes. Yeah. I think mangoes are very overrated. I agree. I'm a man, bro. I don't eat wraps. Oh, you just took a bite on Because I have to. Okay. So you don't like it. 99% of wraps are, that was pretty terrible. Yeah, it wasn't that great. Wraps are like if you had a burrito, but you decided to not cook anything inside of the burrito. This is a lazy burrito. It's a textural disaster. Always has been, always will be. The people who get wraps, I've noticed, are people who don't have a lot of respect for their taste buds. And I'm gonna disrespect the wrap with a 1.4. The chicken was like chalky. <laughs> what? I don't come here to be. <laughs> like LeBron James doesn't eat wraps. I think LeBron, I could see LeBron eating a wrap. I don't think LeBron's a wrap guy. I, don't, I didn't mind the wrap too bad. Maybe like a six. I personally don't get wraps either. It's like when you get at an airport kiosk. Air, air, did you say airport? Air, airport. Air, you changed it three times. You said airport <laughs> and then airport. <laughs> this, is like air, this is like airport kiosk food. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to a, a, an establishment. Yeah, no, I, I definitely get you on that. Next one, I thought I added on the menu. Chris gets this all the time. Yeah, you got the fork. I don't want to spoon you this time. Fork me. So they have a Cobb salad. Get a, little, a little bit of everything. Egg. Yeah. Is there any dressing? This is this is what uh, Chris gets too. Avocado lime dressing. All right. Well, we got to I want to unfairly judge it. Uh, I'm unfairly. I would throw up if I eat ranch. I personally don't eat my greens on a daily. All right. What are we thinking of this? I gotta say, the salad is surprising me. It's more cohesive than I thought it would be. I'm pleasantly surprised. 7.8. Wow. Yeah, let me give that an 8. That's good. We are down to our last couple items, which is awesome because it means we are close to dessert. But first, let me tease James a little bit. You want a milkshake? Sure. You want to try it? Sure. I'm not actually a big milkshake guy. Wow. Cookies and cream, the most popular item. It's good. I don't know. I just I would rather have a lemonade than a milkshake myself. Okay, what'd you rate that? Um, I'm assuming they're gonna give me a bigger straw than that. That straw wasn't quite up to the job. Yeah. Milkshakes are hard to rate, right? It's like pizza. It's like it's gotta be really bad for it to not at least be above average. Yeah, because it's just like ice cream. It's like an average milkshake is good. So how do you even rate a milkshake? Is it below average of a milkshake, or is it it's, average? It's like right on that average okay. line. It's just average, right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm just giving that an average. Chicken noodle soup or tortilla soup? Either one. I'm gonna try the tortilla. Okay, I gotta say from an aesthetic standpoint, I don't know about this chicken noodle, but. I heard the chicken noodle is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's weird. It's like, I don't really like the way it looks, but it smells good. 
Okay. This would be really good with a hint of salt, which you can get anywhere. So I'm gonna assume I put some salt in it. I'm gonna give this, I'm giving it an 8.5. This one was really good too. Eight, the tortilla soup. It's actually really salty. All right, we are on to our last non-dessert item, which is the waffle potato chips. I'm excited to try these. When I saw this, I was like, those look like they could be pretty good. Yeah. What do you think? I like this a lot. Very crispy. Oh yeah, heavy on the crunch. I like it. Yeah, these are really good. Mm -hmm. um, you some uh, chipotle sauce? Yeah, I'll try it. Little big nachos. Mmm. Gotcha. Oh wait. Wow, these are really good chips. I'm gonna give these chips a 9.4. Wow. So would you get the chips or the fries? I ain't going for it. I'm gonna get the chips. Mm. I just wish there was some seasoning on the chips. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. But you know. What is this? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a parfait. You want some granola? Oh, if it comes with it, then yeah. yeah. I don't like raisins. Got a hint of raisin. Um, I don't know how to feel about that, honestly. I'm just not gonna rate it. I like that. An eight. So you didn't like it, just in general. I honestly can't tell if I like it or not. There you go. Oh, a brownie? Yes, sir. The last item of today is a brownie. The brown egg. Last not at least, great brownie is always essential. I have a good brownie. Nice and moist. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Okay. I guess brownies kind of have a ceiling, right? Like how good can a brownie be? I don't think I've ever been had a brownie and been like, whoa. Look y'all, I don't know, it's like all brownies are good, no brownies are great. This is in that category. Yeah. What do you rate that? Uh, I'll give it a, I'll give it an eight. An eight, we're rounding up with that. I'll give that a solid, eight is pretty hot. Overall Chick-fil-A out of 10. I feel like literally every rating I gave fell between like a 7.5 and an 8.5 today. Mm -hmm. I think what I learned today is Chick-fil-A makes like three different things and just puts them in different clothes. Yeah, so you get an eight. Average eight. I'm gonna have to go with that an eight. Um, that's a wraps up our Chick-fil-A. Comment down below what entire menu you want us to try next and check out James' channel, link down in the description. And make sure to click up here to see the last time we tried every menu. Exactly. Click right here. Until next time, you guys. Peace.